so sorry I look like this <laughs> because um, I didn't I just woke up not too long ago and I went outside and I saw that my rooster Philippe is in a really bad way the whole side of his face is completely swollen up <sighs> so I have to call the vet and he probably needs to get surgery if he survives the next few days Hi there, um, this is Dahlia Monteroso. I've brought in my chickens before. I brought Philippe in and um, I brought Philippe in last year and he had a plugged nair and he needed antibiotics and the plug never came out. I was trying to let him just live out his life but now his whole face is, like the whole side of his face is really swollen. So what I'm thinking right now is that he needs antibiotics like immediately or I don't know how, mu how much longer he's gonna live although he's like crowing and stuff he's like <laughs> his face is like all swollen but um I'm leaning towards getting him the surgery now because I don't know if he's gonna live much longer or if he doesn't get it like okay thank you alrighty bye all right, well, I have an appointment and uh, we're gonna get him in as soon as we can and he'll probably need a course of antibiotics and then um, hopefully we can get surgery for him. And I, oh gosh, I still am just like, do I really wanna do this? Cause I don't want him to die in surgery, but if he doesn't have it, he's gonna die. We'll see. I don't have to decide anything right now. I just, you know, I did think maybe I just need to have him put down. And he's such a difficult rooster, but I really don't want to do that. Um, he's not doing great. Okay. He, I thought he was doing, well, I mean, the swelling has gone down okay. a lot, mm -hmm. um, because I put him on the antibiotics, yeah. but this morning, just the stress from this ride, he's very stressed out right okay. now, and I can tell he's really struggling to breathe. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. do you want me to pull him up this way? Yeah, or I can go around and get him, it's whatever you prefer. I think he's okay. All right, sweetheart. Yeah, so the vet he's a great vet um i'm dropping him off and i am supposed to come pick him up later um but philippe is really stressed out and this is why it's a challenge for me every time like should i take them to the vet should i not take them to the vet because the last thing i want is for them to die at the vet like i'd rather them die among their flock and at home where they're not scared so that might happen today. It's always a toss up and I just try to do my best, you know. But um, I'm gonna go home and uh, wait for them to call. Okay, I am back at the vet. You guys are not gonna believe this. The vet actually pulled the plug out of his nair. Philippe almost died but the vet gave him oxygen really quick and he like bounced back and I'm here to pick him up. <laughs> and the vet said he, feel, he feels so much better. He could tell he feels so much better. And it was dangerous to do that without anesthesia, but it would have also been dangerous to do it with anesthesia. So it's like, you know, it's, it's tough to decide what should have been done, but I'm glad it was done. And I feel like this is gonna give Philippe the best chance so I'm here to get him and I'm gonna see him in just a few minutes. I got the window open on this side so you can just put him in. Oh, Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. He was crying. 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 He was crying.
<laughs> oh, Philippe. You're feeling it. He's going to be worse. He just attacks us all the time. Oh, it was really good for us. Yeah. Were you a good boy? Patient. Yeah. <laughs> he looks really good. You look so good. So I'm probably driving this uh, vet crazy, but <laughs> he knows me. Um, I don't want to do the antibiotic that they gave me because I just don't like this antibiotic. I know a lot about antibiotics and I took the human version of this type of antibiotic and I was injured by it. And that happened in, I think it was 2004. So I'm going to ask them if I can do the other antibiotic that is much safer. So um, the technician is in there talking to the doctor right now. We'll see what they say. I want to do what's best for Philippe, but I, I also want to be responsible, you know, about what I put into the environment. They said you were crowing in there, Philippe. Yeah? <laughs> I bet you feel so much better. Yeah. I'm going to show you how to give Philippe his pill and his other medicine. So um, I'm starting with his pill. It's this little yellow pill and basically you give it to the, to him like pretty much how you give a cat or a dog a pill. Um, and so I can just kind of like lean him against my body and I'll just kind of do this. Oops. And he just swallowed it. But you want to make sure, like, because sometimes they'll just hold it in their mouth. And you want to make sure that they swallowed it. Did you swallow it? And this is his pain medication. And it's just a tiny little bit. You'll see where the red line is. That's what you fill it up to. And to give this to them, you really don't want to, like, put it down their throat. Because it's really easy to drown them. That way chickens will aspirate really, really easy. So I just take it and just put it on the side and, and like kind of let it pull in his beak <laughs> he's such a good boy and then he drinks it okay and if you have any problem you just call me and let me know okay good boy So it's been a couple weeks. Philippe has taken his course of antibiotics and he just took his last one. <laughs> yes, Philippe. <laughs> now I was concerned about a certain antibiotic that the doctor wanted me to put Philippe on and he was very honest with me. He told me that he believed that would be the better medication for him, but he also validated my concerns and just supported my decision to put him on a different antibiotic. And that is the sign of a good veterinarian and a good doctor because if they don't listen to you and they invalidate your concerns or they ridicule you for questioning what they want to do, then that's not good, that is a big red flag. Boy, bye. <laughs> you know, it took a little while for Philippe to get over this infection. It was pretty tough and it might come back. I mean, right now he's super happy. I don't know how long we're gonna have him. I think that he's kind of prone to this kind of stuff. So we'll see what happens, but for now, He's just up to his old shenanigans. You haven't attacked me yet, Philippe. What's going on? <laughs> You're still suspect. <laughs> so I don't often plug my really old videos because they are cringy. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this for like three years and I have learned a lot, but I do have this super old video. It's like the third video I posted on my channel or the third real video. <laughs> And it's a Philippe when he was a baby and it's his funny little baby crow. So I'm just gonna post this right here. You can watch it and then you can watch all my other videos because they're all 100% friendly. Backyard chickens, education and entertainment. And I know you're gonna love it.